If you're planning a trip to Mexico, you must consider Maya Copa. It's in the Riviera Maya area. It's away from all the hustle bustle that you might normally find in Cancun. We are in a private community called Maya Copa. There are four resorts, an amazing golf course. So we're gonna show you all that there is to do, the, to do here, all the activities. So come along on our adventure. Maya Copa is situated just south of Cancun and north of Tulum in the Playa del Carmen area. This picturesque destination is located on Riviera Maya's coastline, which stretches over 100 miles with bright white sand beaches and stunning turquoise colored water. It's a quick 30 minute drive on Highway 307 from Cancun International Airport. Maya Coba is located in a private gated community, so you do need a reservation to enter. It's home to the Andaz, Banyan Tree, Fairmont, and Rosewood Resorts. As we started to drive through this private community to find our resort, we realized just how large it was because it took a couple of minutes down this road to finally reach our destination. Once we parked our car, we were picked up by a golf cart to go to the resort's registration area. Because we were traveling during the pandemic, they took our temperatures upon arrival. They even had the pens wrapped, and it was so nice to get our coconut upon check-in. So we just arrived in our room. I have not seen this before. It looks like they've uh, sealed up the pillows. Yeah, that's extra, the first time I've seen that. Yeah, extra sanitation there. It's a really cute minimalistic space, but it's very cute. Like some coffee, water, mini bar. Rooms, always fun. Again, in plastic, which is great. Nice huge sink here. The toilet has its own little area. Even the hair dryer is wrapped. That's new. <laughs> That's different. And then the big shower. So we are staying at the property called Andaz. It's one of the four properties on the over 600 acres. It's got lagoons, it's got beaches, it's got a golf course that I'm gonna lose a ton of balls on tomorrow. The resort offers complimentary beach cruisers that you can take around the resort. I believe there's about three and a half miles of trails, so you can bike ride during the day to explore the community and even bike ride at night. We're taking a little night bike ride on the path. There's tons of them because this place is so huge. But one of the coolest things is listening to the sounds of nature. The next day, we decided to play the golf course. Or I should say, Josh played the golf course and I tagged along in the golf cart. Good, how are you? What do we got going on today, Josh? Playing golf. Well, on a golf course. Of course. No, but seems like this course is abnormally hungry for all of my golf balls. <laughs> So this golf course, El Camillon, is one of the nicest golf courses I've ever played. It rivals Pebble Beach, you have beaches, you have lagoons. The only thing that this course does better than all the other courses is steal all of my balls for some reason. It's worth noting that this is the first PGA Golf Tour golf course in Latin America. It's designed by Greg Norman. It's an 18-hole championship course, and it's on a diverse ecosystem of jungle, dense mangroves, freshwater canals, and beachfront. Do you recommend this course? Only if you love your 
gorgeous scenery, an awesome golf course. I'll tell you that, don't film it. It just started raining. Hard to find, right? I think Mother Nature's trying to put me out of my misery. No. Like, All right, you've had enough. No. But this course is so pretty. I love driving around, even though I'm not playing. But right. it's 18. Yeah. What do you think? I'm 20 under. Can I get a birdie? I've gotten like 30 of them already. Wait, yeah. that doesn't make sense. Never mind. And of course, there's a place for food and drinks. I recommend the shrimp quesadilla. It was amazing. The weather changed a little bit after golf, but as you can see, it was still beautiful. So we decided to take a walk on the beach. And this white sand beach has sand that is so soft, it feels like clay. It was one of my favorite things about staying on this particular stretch of the Riviera Maya coastline. Unfortunately, we were not able to eat at this feet in the sand restaurant called Sotavento, but the resort was very accommodating and we were able to have the same menu indoors. It was great. Somebody's coming. Oh, that's coming. So these habanero oysters are warm. I've never had actually warm oysters before. Let's see how they taste. Really good. Oh, the uh, In this case, this one is much better. Yeah. <laughs> to celebrate Josh's podcast. Yeah. What's it called? Tell them. Overcoming You. We're going to put a link in the description if you want to check that out. You totally should. Um, but yeah, we only had three days here. We did go outside of the resort, so one of the nice things is you can stay here the whole time and have a luxurious, ni nice vacation. Or you could go off property, and we went to go have some tacos. Yeah. How long was that drive? 10 minutes? 10, 15 minutes. 10, 15 minutes. Yeah. The thing to note is that when we were doing our research for the weather, we just used the Google app or whatever, and it always just says rainy and cloudy, rainy and cloudy. And granted, you do get that, but it's like for 10 minutes and then it's sunny for like an hour. And then you get some clouds and then it's awesome. You know, So don't be discouraged if it just says torrential downpour and clouds because it comes and goes. One of the benefits of traveling during the pandemic is that all the resorts here in Mexico are, all, are capped at 30% occupancy. Some of the um, workers here told us that they're actually only at 20% occupancy right now. So that's really nice because you kind of get it all to yourself. And we don't know what it would be like if the pandemic wasn't around. But it's nice to have kind of the resort to ourselves. We feel like it's, a, it's kind of ours or whatever. But Yeah, we're going to go on a boat excursion to see the lagoon area. Maybe we'll see a crocodile. Uh, but that's also included in the stay and because there are so few people they're doing them private right now yep. um, and there's lots of other activities that they offer there's a note tour they have like guacamole making classes so it's definitely a great place if you want to just stay and take advantage of the free things or you can rent a jet ski they also have a yacht that you can take out if you want to go, if you want to go that extreme so yeah <laughs> Are those lagoon rooms part of the Andas? No, those are part of the Roswood, it's the lagoon area. The Roswood opened in 2007 and they have 128 suites, all the suites here. And this is a special category of suite, it's the over the water suite. We also learned that there are residences in Mayacoba. This is one of the Rosewood residences. So this is what I was talking about with the weather. 14.3 seconds ago, sunny, beautiful, now a little light rain, but it's sunny out, so it's not, it's not like cold rain, but it's nice. But it will go away probably another four or five minutes. We are on the Eco Boat Tour right now, and we highly recommend that you do this the first day you arrive. We're doing it on the last day and we're learning a lot of new things about different resorts we could have visited and had a uh, dining experience at. So this tour will give you a really great lay of the Mayacopa resort area. So we just finished up our awesome little vacation here in Mayacopa. It was amazing. Pools, lagoons, golf, um, amazing dining, 
indoor outdoor activities, boat crews, everything. I loved it. Yeah, me too. One of my favorite places in Mexico that we've been by far. It's definitely more on the luxurious side. Um, but that's always nice to have a balance. We only scratched the surface of Riviera Maya. There's more to Playa del Carmen, Tulum, so much of the area. We hope to explore more. So if you want to see more of these adventures, make sure that you subscribe so that you don't miss one of our videos. And if you found this helpful or entertaining, give it a like.